and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm doing a review here tonight, 7 o'clock on Sunday evening, but I'm going to tell you, in fact, let's just do a refresh here of where the futures are. Mm -mm -mm. I know we're up. 2892. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to do it again. Here we go. Oh, my Lancia. Holy crap. That is insane. I. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but the market could make a new high in the next week. Hold on. I, I'm not saying that for sure, but I'm saying that it could. I'm saying it could, that's all I'm saying. Let me just see what economic data is out this week. Oh, gosh, what a market. Okay, okay, Monday is the 8th. I don't see minutes on Wednesday. Listen, I don't really, I mean, I look at the news, but I don't really trade based on that. I, I read the chart. And I'm telling you, like, let's just say, for example, at 7 o'clock tonight and Sunday, say tomorrow was 9.30 a.m. Monday, if we were opening around 28.92, I'm telling you, that would be a great cap for the market. And, uh, and I'm also telling you, and let's just be exact, because it's good to be exact, and I'm very meticulous, 293.94 minus... Two nine oh twenty is that what I said? No, two eighty nine. Oh, hold on, let's just refresh. Two ninety three ninety four minus two eighty nine seventy five. It's up even more. <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> In a good way. So basically, wow. Oh, gosh, I'm just going to give myself a round of applause. Great call in the market. I mean, but who would have thought that the market would run like it has up straight like a rocket, which is exactly 100% what it's occurred. So, I mean, again, 7 o'clock at night, 9.30 in the morning is a million miles away. But let's just say pretend tonight was tomorrow morning. This would be a nice bullish gap for the market. And it's hard to believe that we wouldn't hit up over the highs very, very soon. Soon could be in one day. Soon could be in one week. Soon could be in a one month. I did predict, uh, you know, last week, a week ago, that the market would make brand new all-time highs within the first half of the year. And so that's till the end of June. I mean, it's it's basically the first week of April, so uh, market's really doing it. I mean, it's clear that the market's getting bought. And again, if you'd like to learn how I can read this chart in this manner, which is a gap. I mean, I'm reading the gap up in the market, even though it's really not there. I'm seeing that it's going to be there. And if you don't know what I mean, then this is a reason to come and learn from me. What I do is very unique. It's very specific. So there's a gap up right now tonight. If we were open, we'd be up. And that's what I'm seeing. And then I'll see it again in the morning is what I'm saying. But that's a positive sign for this market. It's We're seeing follow through, number one. We're seeing the continuation, number two. And number three, we're seeing institutional buying. Because you're really having the institutional buying come in, in here. This really isn't, uh, uh, this majority of this buying, some of it is, but the majority of it is really more so institutional money because you have a lot of retail traders got, that got scared off from the drop off that happened here in December. So you had a lot of people that were taken out and maybe some of them did buy the dick, which was ill-advised, okay? But anyways, long story short, a lot of them went out, were out of this way, way before this rally that we're seeing occur right now, even in the last week, actually since last Monday. I mean, if you look at last Monday, this was April 1st to start out, what a great April. I mean, holy crap. It's just like, pfft, I mean, I just, I'm like kind of speechless here, but I've said that like on Friday. So, I mean, you know, I mean, we ran up and gapped up on Friday and held it and there was good data out. But I mean, even still, I mean, this market's just like going to, you know, straight 
like if you would draw it like with an arrow, it would just be accelerating. I mean, this is this is an acceleration. I mean, you, you could literally count the red bars that we've seen on this chart since December. In fact, let's just do it, just to, just to appease myself. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't count. Six, seven. I'm not counting the babies. Oh, no, all right, let's just count the babies. I changed my mind, because I'm just gonna be so like conservative here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I'm gonna write that down. So twenty-one red days. Ay, ay, ay. Since December twenty-six. So through April, we're going to go through Friday, which was the 5th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59, 60, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 70 days, 21 red days and 70 days. And some of those days were gap ups. Okay. So this was a gap up that went red. This was a gap up that went red. This was a gap up that went red. This was the gap up the rent red, but I mean, I'm just going to be very, very specific here. 21 divided by 70. So based on that, 70% of the trading days since December 26 have been, you know, full-on bullish days, meaning closed green, were green, had a green body, had buying in them. And and that and, and I'm not counting, like I said, the gap ups where there was buying overnight, but they may have fallen on the day. But that is huge, huge for this market. Um, and quite, quite, quite interesting here to look at this whole thing. So before I go here, let's just refresh this. Two eight nine seven twenty five. All right. Anyways, good luck, everyone. I mean, so I had called a trade in this, an option trade, in the queues in the spy. They'll be up. They'll be. They were up on Friday, but they'll be up even more into the Monday night. I hope people didn't kill them. Sometimes people kill the trades that I call a little bit too early, but you know, it is what it is. This is a learning experience here. But I would tell you that when momentum comes in, you got to follow it and follow it through, and you have to believe in it. You have to have the conviction. All right, have a great night, everyone. See you tomorrow morning.